All right, everyone, I'm back again, and it's time for science. So you need to go on this page and go to week two. All right, we did our ponds, car and bus safety. Today is day eight, Earth science stars. I don't know about you, but I love to um, sit outside on my back porch and look at the stars at night. All right. So you can listen to the story, stars, stars, stars. You can watch the video, what's in the night sky. Let's look at the activity we're going to do. It's an easy one. I find that these activities are fun, fun for you guys to do. What can you see out your window during the day and during the night? So you can either fold a piece of paper in half. So when you fold the paper, you'll have your two sides. Or at the end of the video, I'm gonna show you how to do it in portfolio. So it's really easy. On one side, you're going to draw things that you see in the daytime, in the sky. Not on the ground, guys, we're talking about the sky. And then on the other side, draw some things that you see in the sky at nighttime. Okay? All right. Let's get to reading, looking through a telescope. Hey, diddle diddle. Did a cow really jump over the moon? Of course not. Cows eat grass in a field. Cows sleep in a barn. Cows cannot jump over the moon. That's a nursery rhyme, the hey diddle diddle diddle. The moon is a big ball of rock. It is too big to jump over. It is also far away. That is why we cannot see how big it really is. Look at the moon. What does it look like? Is it bright? Is it shaped like a ball? So tonight, go outside and look at the moon and see what shape it is. Sometimes it looks like a banana, that crescent shape. Sometimes it's a half moon. And here in this picture is a full moon. You can use a telescope to see what the moon really looks like. So if you look at the picture, that's a telescope. A telescope is a science tool. It lets us get a closer look at things that are far away. I know one Christmas I bought my oldest daughter a telescope. I think she used it about two times and then it just sat there. I don't even know where it is now but I kind of would like to reinvest in a nice telescope for myself so I can you know, see what's out there and look closely at the sky. You can see that the moon is big and round with a telescope. You can see many craters on the moon. Now craters is highlighted, so that means they're gonna tell us what it is. Craters are round holes that are not deep. So look at the moon and you're going to see those holes. Those are called what guys? Craters, you got it. You can also see Maria on the moon. Maria, I hope I'm saying that right, are large areas of dark rock. So if you look at those, at the moon there, do you see those big dark um, areas? That's called Maria. I hope I'm saying it right. Some people say they can see faces in the Maria. What do you see? Hmm, let's look closely. All right, if I am looking closely, I see two eyes. I see a, a large nose with three circles and almost like a half smile. You look at the picture, what do you see? Telescopes can also help you see planets in space. Planets are big objects like Earth that go around the sun. Without a telescope, a planet looks like a dot of light in the sky. You can also use a telescope to see stars. That's what I like to look at. Stars are balls of gas. Some look yellow or red through a telescope. Others look blue or white. Some telescopes are as big as buildings. 
scientists use them to see things really far away. Wow, look at that huge telescope. That's not one that we can buy. You cannot see some of these things without using a telescope. Scientists have even put a big telescope into space. It can see things that telescopes on Earth cannot. It is called the Hubble Space Telescope. And you can see it there in the picture. The Hubble Space Telescope has taken pictures of big clouds of gas, dust, and stars. These pictures help scientists learn how stars form. What do you want to look at through a telescope? Will you look at a star? What about a planet? Look again. So looking at the picture, you see the moon? That's the crescent-shaped moon. All right, we are finished with our book. I'm gonna show you now how to do the assignment. It's really simple to do this in portfolio. All right, here we go. All right, so I have to see if the code has changed. So let's see. Just have a feeling that the class code might have changed. Up, oh, it's still the same. All right, let me write that down. So it's always good, guys, when you're working like this via computer, you should always have like a notebook or sticky notes so you can write this stuff down. So it's B K M. J I W. Well, guess what? It says you can only use this code for the next hour. So that means it says they won't need a new code as long as they don't log out. If you log out, it's okay. Just message me and I'll get the code for you. All right. So now I have to sign out so I can go in as a student. All right. So when you're logging in as a student, you go here, and then you just have to enter that code. Look for your name, and the assignment's gonna come up. Now, you're gonna have to look at the date. Like I said yesterday, it might come up like this. All right, here it is. Nope, that's not here. Wednesday. Okay, so I, I'm trying to now just, I should be putting the day of the week and the date. Wednesday, social studies, April 22nd. All right, and on the side, it will give you the directions. Draw a line down the middle of the box. On one side, draw things you would see in the sky during the day. On the other side, draw what you might see at night. All right, and this is actually a good compare and contrast activity. So the first step is to draw that line down the middle. All right, I'm going to start with my daytime. So I'm definitely going to draw a nice fluffy cloud. Now, guys, you don't have to make yours just like mine. I mean, I would prefer if you didn't, um, although there's only but so many things in the sky. Um, but see if you can come up with some different things than, than I did. Okay, definitely see that beautiful sun. Now you can just use the whole, whole side for like the sky. I know that I see birds, uh, those are my birds. Hmm, let's think, what else do I see during, during the day? Um, I have seen some airplanes, I saw two airplanes today. Don't know if that looks like a bat or an airplane. Well, what I can do, if I think you won't know, if you think I won't know what your drawing is, add a text box and, and write it. Airplane. All right, now I'm gonna go to the night sky. All right. Let's see what we can see at night. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of black here just to distinguish that it's night. Okay, I'm going to draw the moon, and I'm gonna draw a crescent moon, okay? And might as well add some stars while we're here. 
Some nights there are more stars than others, right? Mm, I want to include an animal, so I know what comes out at night. Owls. Ooh, ooh. There's my owl, and also bats come out at night. Now, what I'm going to do, since my drawings aren't great, I'm going to label what it is so that the teacher knows, okay, that's an owl. You just click on that text box, and that's a bat. And there you have it, your daytime and nighttime sky. Remember, you can hit save, and then you have to go in the upper right-hand corner and click hand in, and then I get it. Now, I would prefer that you do it in the portfolio section because it's easier for me, but it's okay. If you want to videotape yourself with the picture or take a picture of it and just send it to me on my phone or on Class Dojo, preferably, no worries, as long as I get the work, okay? All right, so the next thing you should do is draw your nighttime and daytime sky and then go back onto that website that we were just on and watch the night video and listen to the other book that is there. And then, that sounds like a lot, <laughs> then you're going to watch the math video. Okay, so only one more video today. All right, guys, I can't wait to see your daytime and nighttime skies.